Deon Rappler. Vice President Binay ignores the Senate's invitation to address corruption charges. The Philippine military says the Abu Sayyaf's cash ransom video may encourage more kidnappings. Pope Francis says the system for church annulments is deeply flawed. Hello, I'm Maria Ressa. This is Rappler's Wrap for the Day, a list of the most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. In the Philippines, Vice President Jejomar Binay snubs the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee hearing Thursday. Instead, Binay flew to Cebu City to meet with supporters. The Vice President faces corruption charges for a city building built when he was mayor of Makati. Senate Blue Ribbon Chair T.G. Gingona says the Vice President wasted an opportunity to clear his name. Nakakalungkot dahil hindi din binigyan ni Vice President ang pagkakataon ang publiko na madinig ang panig niya upang makabuo sila ng sarili nilang pananaw at konklusyon sa mga isyong ito. At the hearing, Senator Alan Peter Cayetano says it's strange that Binay's old company, Agri Fortuna Incorporated, is paying the electricity bills of the Batangas property, not Antonio Chu's son champ. Former Binay ally turned critic Ernesto Mercado also says part of the Batangas property used to be under his name. Earlier, Senator Miriam Santiago said the Instagram post by Binay's daughter, Joanna Marie, with the caption, Our place in Batangas may be submitted as evidence in court. A year after Super Typhoon Haiyan or Yolanda hit Tacloban City, Mayor Alfred Romualdez says around 3,000 families or 14,100 people continue to live in danger zones close to the sea. The Tacloban City government will prohibit residents from building houses in danger zones, but the mayor admits in his words, there's nowhere to move to. Typhoon Haiyan killed 6,300 people in November 2013. Armed Forces Chief Gregorio Catapang warns a video posted by the Abu Sayyaf of stacks of cash, presumably ransom, may encourage other kidnappings. In the video, Abu Sayyaf spokesman Abu Rami claims the money was the full $5.7 million ransom for the release of two German hostages freed last month. The Philippine military also fears the Abu Sayyaf may go on an arms spending spree. The identity of the soldier who killed terrorist leader Osama bin Laden is revealed. London-based Daily Mail identifies the SEAL team member as 38-year-old war veteran Rob O'Neill. He was in the U.S. Navy for 16 years before retiring. Esquire magazine referred to him as the shooter and portrayed in movies Zero Dark Thirty, Captain Phillips, and Lone Survivor. Pope Francis says he once fired a church court official caught offering to facilitate marriage annulment for cash. He revealed this during a lecture to students attending a course at the church's high court. The Pope says the current annulment system is deeply flawed. He adds he wants annulment decisions to be easier, quicker, and cheaper to obtain for ordinary people. For the full stories, click on the links on your screen. And for those of you watching on mobile, the links can be found on the titles on the article. You can also click on the tabs below to go to a story in the video. Every story on Rappler has a mood meter, which gives you eight emotions to choose from. If we look at the mood navigator today, which is in the middle of the front page, you can see it is, well, it looks a little bit like Christmas. It is red and green, red for angry, Many of the stories, uh, um, this is Binay and the Abu Sayyaf here, the story that's gotten the most number of votes in the last 24 hours, Catholic school wins versus BIRs, NRS, you see 12% angry and a, and a whopping 74% happy, bringing out the mood of the day. Today, most people are happy. Well, that is the wrap for today, Thursday, November 6, 2014. Visit Rappler.com for the latest news here and around the world. Check out our other shows, Tech Rap and Talk Thursday. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Maria Ressa. As we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today.